Chauncey Bailey was born on October 20, 1949 in Oakland, California. He found his passion in journalism and communications while at college and eventually graduated San Jose State with a degree in journalism. After college, Bailey worked a few years as a reporter in Chicago and then Detroit before returning to his hometown of Oakland, California. He became the editor-in-chief of the Oakland Post, focusing his work primarily on African American issues and remained at this position until his death in 2007. While working on the bakery story, Chauncey Bailey was shot and killed in broad daylight on August 2, 2007. As he walked to his office at the post, he was ambushed by the shooter. Witnesses told police a young black man wearing a ski mask pointed a shotgun at Bailey and calmly fired three times at point-blank range. The shooter then got into a white van and sped away from the scene. One day later, the suspect, 19-year-old Devondre Broussard, was arrested for Bailey's murder. Broussard was a janitor and handyman for the bakery. At first, Broussard denied involvement in the murder and told police he did not do it. After a police-monitored conversation with Broussard's boss and spiritual leader, Yusuf Bey IV, Broussard eventually confessed to the killing. At the time of his death, Chauncey Bailey was working on a story about the finances of your black Muslim bakery involving its pending bankruptcy and poor financial status. Your Black Muslim Bakery was once a multi-million dollar business, as well as a major religious and political power in Oakland. Bailey had been investigating the bakery's shady tactics, which had made the bakery leaders very angry. Angering the bakery was a risky business because there had been rumors circling the community that the leaders would not only kill people, but also force people into doing things they did not want to do. According to police, the bakery had been on the police's radar for a long time. It was suspected that Bailey was killed for attempting to out the bakery's secrets and exposing the fact that they were no longer the flourishing business they once used to be. Chauncey Bailey's death was important because it highlighted the fact that his right to speak freely was attacked the day he died. According to Bailey's former editors at the Detroit News, it was an assault on the American way of life. Chauncey Bailey made a sacrifice by simply trying to inform his readers and construct a story he thought people would want to hear. His death reminds us that journalists are putting themselves in the line of fire by speaking out about issues that they truly believe in, even when others do not.